Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your bro, my boy, the LC, the one, baby. The LC, the one to be as like that is, man. AKA Illmatic 124. And yeah, not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on out there? Man? Y'all do good, but hey, man. I'm back in the break room, man. But listen, real quick. Uh, this is my reaction to Stephen A. Smith and a host uh other other analysts, uh, Max Kellerman, uh, Molly Chern, uh, I believe I seen Vince Carter up there too, and Kendrick Perkins, uh, saying that, um, it could be a lock, is it a lock, that the, the, uh, Los Angeles Lakers will beat the, the Portland Trailblazers, uh, in this up and coming, uh, playoff series, uh, that they gonna be, uh, matched up in. Now, uh, the, the the question is, uh, uh, will LeBron be consistent? Because as you know, man, in these playoffs, uh, uh, his duration in the league has been, you know, uh, well, I'm gonna say it's subpar because, uh, you know, that's the thing they've been they've been questioning uh, for years. Like, uh, LeBron can he finish? Because uh, it all started when he, when he was in Cleveland. Uh, I think it was his uh, seventh year, eighth year, something like that, and they went up against the Boston Celtics. And uh, that's when he ran into a wall. It seemed like the young fella just, you know, ran out of energy or, you know, he just lost his will to, you know, to, to play. You know, we've seen that, like, in uh, that game five, I think it was. And, uh, you know, it seemed like he was demoralized. But you know they continued over to like uh, uh, year eight, nine, and then he went to uh, to Miami. Okay, and then when he went to Miami, it seemed like Dwayne Wade took a back seat and let the young fella perform. You know he brought the best out of him. That's what I thought, and that really uh, uh, made made Le- made LeBron a real leader. You know, because uh, that's the same thing that happened with Dwayne Wade. Had Shaquille O'Neal on the team. He sat down and he let him play, and he got that. He got the. He got it done. So uh, now that LeBron is um, in his prime now, okay, what 34, 35, and he's with this young club. Okay, he got a few veterans on the team, but still, it's all gonna boil down to LeBron's play. Will LeBron be consistent enough? You know, to to get past this this team now that that that's turned into a foe now because now uh, they stacked, okay? They stacked. They have uh, real leadership on the team. They have two dynamic scores uh, in Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum, and also uh, they got uh, uh, an impact player. Uh, the X Factor in Carmelo Anthony. Okay, so everybody was talking about Carmelo Anthony and how uh, he's a washed up player and his his time is you know pretty much over with in the NBA. But you know he proved all the naysayers wrong. You know, we've seen that. Uh, this was like before the season really ended, leading up into now. You know with the restart uh, because without Carmelo Anthony's 22 points per game. We won't be talking about the Portland Trailblazers uh, versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, that's just a fact. Even when Norky wasn't in the picture, you know, when he was injured, uh, it still was on Carmelo Anthony. He was resting on his shoulders to, you know, get this young ball club to the next level. You know, because uh, after they, that, that successful year last year, and they made it. All the way to the Western Conference just to be uh, uh, upended by the Denver Nuggets. Uh, you know, him coming to that team, you know, through all the scrutiny that he was dealing with, uh, uplifting that young team because they took a devastating loss uh, uh, that year. So, uh, yeah, you know, I think it's going to boil down to him, you know. In the long run, but that's what they—that's what the Lakers are up against now, man. And I think, you know, 
they don't think too much about this, but this is a juggernaut they're about to play against. Um, um, now, I listened to the analysts, and they were saying, yeah, I, I was saying they, they may clip them in game six. There may be a game six type of ending, you know, for the Lakers, but it's still going to boil down to LeBron James. Will he be consistent enough to get it to get it done? Because uh, we know his, the history, and he's no Michael Jordan, you know. Let's not get that misconstrued. Uh, or no Kobe Bryant. He really, in these situations, he's not a, a great finisher when they play up against, then they go up against greater ball clubs. And this is a great ball club. They can shoot really well. I mean, really, really well. And Damian Lillard right now is the hottest player in the NBA. So, uh, they got some great shooters on their team. You know, but I still was saying, all along, you know, they still going to need somebody else. You know, they needed that Camelo Anthony, you know, but he went to the Portland Trailblazers. That's what they needed. Now, if they could have picked up somebody like Derrick Rose, then there you have it. Because you're going to need somebody that's going to, you know, that's come, that come right in. What if LeBron get hurt? See, you got you to gotta, uh, account all those things in, into play. What if LeBron James get hurt? Because he, he do a lot out there. You know, and they got to run the point guard. So, he going to have to defend Damian Lillard. And that's what I was saying before the season started. Like, LeBron going to have to chase these young guards. And this the playoffs. I mean, he may potentially see Russell Westbrook. Donovan Mitchell. Okay. Jamal Murray. These are some young guys. And they, come on, man. LeBron can't be out there like that, you know. And they need somebody else, you know. If they could have got Chris Paul, that would have been great. But the fact of the matter is, uh, they in a real situation, man. It's like, you know, I said six. It may go seven games, man. It may go seven games because if the Lakers make any mistakes, they out of there. I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. They out of there because... And then Camelo Anthony, this is his redemption. Um, you know, this is all about his redemption right here. You know, because they counted him out and they said he was over and done with. And I remember when he did the interview, I reacted to the interview when he sat down with Stephen A. Smith and he was saying, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not done playing yet, you know, so, you know. And they only in their primes, man. They 34, 35, so they got a lot of time to play. They got about eight more, nine more years to play. Ten of that. You know, Kobe, he played 20 years, so that's my constituent. But that's what I'm saying, man. In the long run, it's going to come down to LeBron James. And then the X factor is Camilo Anthony. So it can go either way, you know, really. Because you got two leaders, two different aspects, two different uh, uh, two different uh, prowesses here, you know, that can, uh, you know, have a big dramatic impact on this uh, series here. So, yeah, I like Camelo and I love LeBron. So it's like, hey, man, say, man, not nah, a smooth gym. But, uh, hey, uh, I'm going to have to flip a coin on this one. That's what, that's what it's going to come down to, uh, flip of the coin, because they, they match evenly, but Damian Lillard is the MVP right now. So, you know, yeah, that's what it is, and that's what it's going to be. You know, but hey man, about it, man. This your room for the LC one, baby. The LC the one to be exactly is from the break room, man. Get it in, let me. Make sure I like this video, share, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, all, man, turn the notification bell button on. Okay. Say what? Yeah. I'm holler at y'all later, man. Church and now. Yeah. 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 Hey man. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. And uh, for all y'all yeah. niggas out there, man. Yeah. They're saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey, man. Who's a duplicate? Yeah. Who's a duplicate? Who's a duplicate, nigga? Yeah. Who's a duplicate, nigga? Who's a duplicate? Who's a duplicate, nigga? I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah.
Don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC to one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You did now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Stood up with the hood on it. Stood up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and the stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back printing, sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Print everywhere. Then I got the yoga pants. You dig on top joggers. You dig on top about for men. And I got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies. You dig on top about. Look at that. She look comfortable with it. Uh huh. Then I got the sports bra. You dig on top about. Get the sports bra. You dig on top about the back print print. You dig on top about the back print print. You dig on top about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the yoga pants for the ladies. You dig on top about. Biker booty shorts. You dig on top about. So that put that piece can round out. You dig on top about. Then I got the the yoga leggings. You dig on top about. So when she jogging and everything. And I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig, and I got the, the custom socks. You dig on tomorrow. You ain't gonna find no more socks like that nowhere on the planet. And then, last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You dig on talk about. Then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print, look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig on draw straight back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking LC the one. Look at the back. Look at the front. You dig on look at the top. You think I'm talking about everything is looking good. You think I'm talking about and they'll see the worst neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You think I'm talking about and then I got the iPhone 6 case 7, 8, 9. Let's order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You think I'm talking about LC the one baby. And then I got the custom mug. And when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my screen. And then I got the snuggle pillow when you want to get snuggled with your lady. Yeah.